hello guys i hope you all are doing good so today i am back with my another video which is on a jor function so in my previous video i explain how we can create a multiple what is a jor function and how we can create multiple types of a jor function based on different different triggers so let's go back to my visual studio where i was working on my previous video so i explained you right like how to create this azure function and inside it i created this uh, service bus uh, http azure function and then i created the function trigger azure function that uh, sorry http trigger azure function right so what i will do is here i will tell you like uh, if i want to uh, send a message to my service bus trigger azure function okay and with from the http azure function from this function i will send the message all right so when you create the azure function so you have to select the trigger as http trigger and then this uh, message body that azure function will come up okay so for to create to send the message on the topic uh, you just need to uh, get the service bus string connection string and the topic name and then you can just send that message so i have uh, i'll explain you code here so if you see here once you create a http azure function like i have created and then you have to select the string service bus connection so this is the string guys that you will get from your azure once you created one service bus with the topic and subscription so when you go to the azure azure just go to the service bus find your service bus and then there there would be primary connection string secondary connection string then you can take either of them i have taken the primary connection string and then just copy or paste this string over here and then next you have to choose the service bus topic one service one service bus can have multiple topics right so in which topic you want to send your message so you have to select the uh, topic of your service bus here i have select o360 bad job this is my topic name so i have taken the service bus topic name after that you just need to create the you need to write this line of code where we have to create from connection string in this topic client and in this we have we will pass the service bus connection and service bus topic name and then just create the object of this new progress message and then topic client dot send message we will pass the message suppose i am i want to trigger the service bus trigger so i just just pass this call automatic attendance creation suppose this is my function name so as soon as this um, azure function will send message to this topic which is this o360 batch topic your service box function will get trigger but the thing is that you should have the uh, azure function hosted on the same function app so like that i have right i have created a service bus adjustable so i am getting this service bus trigger i need to install this package microsoft.azure.web.services so i'll go and i will install this package okay you can choose the version according to your what i am choosing here latest 2.3.01 i think in my system it is one minute was it is out using dot net framework yeah so in my system it is already present or uh, there is some issue with framework so because of that it got rolled back i will show you how we can uh, like you know so here so i will explain you first in the main service first function this topic name would be the same that you have given that you want to send or uh, to your service bus like he, here i have right so uh, this topic name this is, we have o360 bad job right so same we will give here on this topic name 
that this function will trigger this function okay and then we have we will give the connection if you see here we have connection connection is i have given one uh, that kind of string you have to give service bus connection that will contain the your receiver so same service bus connection string so the same service bus connection string you have to pass to this service bus connection but not here you can uh, configure this you have to configure on the azure in your app setting if you must have seen it if you go to azure and if you open the app setting of your function app there you have to provide this uh, parameter where the value of the parameter will be service bus and the value of this service bus connection would be the same that you are sending to the message to that service bus like i have given here right once you give that then this function will hit whenever you will send message by this azure function on to your topic and then you can write your code uh, inside it so inside it i am making connection from the dynamic 365 by the keyboard so keyboard i will explain you in the next video so for this video this is all if you guys have any doubt please do let me know and if you like this video please do like and share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much